Well, when history looks back at the body of work of this man, Rafael Dos Anjos, not just one of the more accomplished Brazilian fighters of all time, maybe even a fringe Hall of Famer, still getting it done now in a second UFC division. It's unbelievable that he is still able to be so successful after being here so long. I remember after he lost to Habib Nurmagomedov, the next time you saw him, he was a different guy. From the Jason Hyde fight to beating Vincent Henderson, Nate Diaz, Anthony Pettis, winning the title and defending against Donald Cerrone, you understood that he had made the necessary changes in order to become a UFC champion. He's still doing that in a new division at 170 pounds. And most amazing for me is that this dude started 0-2 in the UFC back in 2008, had a must-win in 2009, and has gone on to become one of the better lightweights and welterweights of his era. Rafael Dos Anjos finds himself in another massive spot here tonight. Jeff Neal is the best boxer in this absolutely ruthless UFC welterweight division. Tonight, we'll see if he can get those hands of steel going in what is a fascinating stylistic matchup for the fans. Some would argue if Jeff Neal had not dealt with life-threatening health issues, he already would have fought for the undisputed UFC welterweight title. He has had to work his way back up, but he finds himself in another title eliminator type spot here tonight. And if Jeff Neal can get the job done, just given his style, and given his commitment, many believe that the UFC would like to give him a championship opportunity. Huge spot, though, first here for Jeff Hands of Steel. Now. for this highly anticipated welterweight fight. Here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, presenting the former UFC lightweight champion, Rafael Dos Anjos. And now with the Mercedes opponent, fighting out of the red corner, Jeff has a skill. Yeah! Herb Dean, our referee for this one. Good. All right, here's the UFC welterweight contender, Jeff Neal. We'll see if he can get off to a good start in this round. Many would argue that he is Fortis MMA's best chance for a UFC title. The general safe Saud entrenched in his corner here tonight, and he believes if Jeff Neal can finish an opponent on this level, he'll be hard to deny as the number one welterweight contender. Oh, lands a nice straight. Big, straight left. All right, so a nice job by the Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu practitioner here, really getting the clinch and giving the kickboxer a lot to think about as to how he might proceed next. Too much information to process. Put him in the clinch where he's uncomfortable, make him work in positions that are not instinct to him, and try to overwhelm him from this position. Great job. Smart approach. North-South position, crowd just can't help itself but to laugh. Big combination here, ground and pound strikes. Nice work by Dos Anjos. Oh, nicely done there as he escapes back to his feet. Oh, level change, nice trick to get the takedown. There's the elbow. He passes the half guard. Inside the closed guard now. I mean, he went right into his full guard. What does he do to try to... Dos Anjos is looking to lock up an arm bar here. Ooh, that's tight. I'd be tight. It's starting to get really tight in there. Oh, he's out! He actually escaped. Look, i got to stop writing these dudes' obituaries, man. I always think they're done. Surprise me. 
Submission attempts in bunches, another one here. Oh, this could be the end of the fight. Looks like the fight. Absolutely remarkable what this fighter was able to accomplish here tonight. As you can see, the years of repetitions in the gym to set it up and ultimately get the tap there. Great technique to set up the finish. All right, let's take a look back at the replay as he gets it done by submission tonight, champ. He does a great job of staying patient. He doesn't rush or panic. You are never safe when you're fighting this guy. You're in a lot of trouble. You're in a lot of trouble the entire time when you're this good in the submission. Now we go inside the octagon to Bruce Buffer for the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean's called a stop to this contest at 3 minutes, 11 seconds of the very first round. Declaring the winner by tap out, Rafael Dos Well, it's been a career full of shining moments for the former UFC lightweight champion Rafael Dos Anjos. He produces another one here tonight. And now I think you can start to talk about RDA as a potential two-division champion. Starting to do some of his best work since moving up to 170 pounds. This is a dangerous out for anyone in this welterweight division, and he certainly proved as much here tonight.